Starkiss was actually founded as a French sardine company back in 1917, towards the end of World War I. And there was a uh, protein shortage at the time, and Starkist and, and several other companies introduced tuna uh, to the American public. A can of tuna at that time was considered to be a healthy, convenient protein, whereas today we look at it, it's this highly commoditized item, it's very price sensitive, and consumers have so many other options. The Starkist company produces a wide variety of products. Um, we pack dozens of different pouches. It's about 40% of our business. We have our Starkist tuna creations um, and chicken creations and salmon creations, which consist of different flavored proteins. We have um, dozens of varieties. You can just tear open the pouch, eat and go. Starkist company produces approximately 80% of its products, pouches and cans in American Samoa. American Samoa is a U.S. territory and we're packing the product right at the source. So we're catching the fish there, bringing it in and packing it. Whereas a lot of our competitors are um, catching the fish, freezing it, sending it around the world to be packed. So Charlie has attracted consumers for many years. He has his fans who remember him from the television commercials that ran for decades. And he's back on TV now. And we talk to the younger consumers who don't even necessarily know who Charlie is and we ask them if they like tuna, and a lot of them say yes. And then we ask them, well, what brand do you buy? And they'll say Starkist, or they might say the one with the blue label, but many of them say, I like the one with Charlie on it, or the one with the blue fish on it. I think Starkist changed significantly. We were predominantly a shelf-stable tuna company. Now, we evolved our company from a tuna to convenient ready meal company. With that strategy, we were able to launch many different products, and out of 50 different SKUs, actually 48 of them are still selling in the stores. So before, when we defined Starkist as a shelf-stable tuna company, it was very hard to innovate and be creative. But once we defined us as a company that empowers people to live a healthy lifestyle, then we were able to branch out and expand into other product categories such as salmon, chicken, and from a boring tuna in water or oil to many different flavors. And now we even have a microwavables that people could easily uh, consume in their home at any time. Sustainability is very important because still the fish is the main source of our raw materials. Recently we announced that we are going to purchase 100% of our fish from sustainable fisheries, such as MSC, MSC in assessment, or fishery improvement project. I think what's important for people to know about the MSC is, and we're a nonprofit organization that's been around for more than 20 years. We develop a standard for sustainable fishing, but we don't do that in a bubble. We have done this in consultation with scientists, with fishermen, with the fishing industry, with companies like Starkist, and we are using the latest available science. So we're constantly evolving, we're constantly improving, and we are doing so with the best interest of the ocean in mind, making sure that populations are healthy, making sure that fishing communities feel supported. And so it's really a way for us to make sure that we're giving back. Consumers today are much more aware of sustainability and much more conscious about the products that they're purchasing. As a company that values the quality of our products and values that our products are wild caught, we also have an obligation to be good stewards of the environment, make sure that the things that we're doing aren't detrimentally impacting the oceans and the ecosystem. So not just being a member of Starkist, but also um, you know, being someone who eats and enjoys seafood and a person that lives on this planet, I'm really proud of the work that, uh, that I'm doing with Starkist to make sure that we're protecting the health of the oceans, making sure that we're doing things responsibly. I've been CEO since 2014. The first thing that I worked on with the team was creating a vision statement that we could follow and execute our strategies. Stark has been around over 100 years. Initially, we've been very successful as a company because we had a purpose, which were we provided healthy and affordable food to people. That purpose, which helped Stark to be very successful in the beginning, was not enough for us to be a relevant company in this day and age. So we came up with a vision statement, which is socially responsible company 
that empowers people to live a healthy lifestyle. In order for people to live a healthy lifestyle, we thought our products need to have four attributes, which were one, affordable, which we always had, two, healthy and nutritious, and additional attributes we thought we needed. Convenient and many different flavors, which taste good. So our success rate has been tremendous. And one of the reasons for our success is because we always stay true to our vision and who we are, why this world needs StarKist, what's our reason for being, which is affordable, healthy, convenient, good-tasting products.